Now, if you know the name of something, it's obviously easy enough to search it. This here's Lamel Spring. It's a spring in Angeles National Forest. And you can see it's on the topographic maps. But what if I want to find all of the springs marked on a map in Angeles National Forest? OpenStreetMaps has all of this information saved essentially in a geolocated database. So all this information is in OpenStreetMaps. I should be able to search OpenStreetMaps and just say, give me all of the natural springs within Angeles National Forest. But unfortunately, there's not an easy way to do that until I figured this out, and maybe others knew this already, but I think this is super powerful, and here's what I did. If you go to ChatGPT, which might be your first um, option or your first thought, you might just say, ChatGPT could figure this out because that information's in a database, but if we ask it, it's gonna give us a few results here, but obviously there are more springs than these nine on here. So what we can do is we can find a spring that we already know in OpenStreetMap. And here's Lamel Spring, which I just showed you earlier. You can see it's listed as a node here, Lamel Spring. There are nodes and there are ways. Uh, there might be some other ones, but those are the building blocks of OpenStreetMaps. But you can see here it says tags natural equals spring. So let's go back to ChatGPT and we're going to uh, use a program or a service called Overpass Turbo that takes a query, like a programming language query and searches the OpenStreetMap database to give us all of these results. And you don't have to learn the programming language if you use ChatGPT. And I'll show you what I mean here. Write a query for Overpass Turbo that finds all the nodes with, okay, now we have with, this is the important part. If we go back here, natural equals spring. Let's go back here with natural equals spring within Angeles National Forest, for it, there we go. Now ChatGPT is just giving me this program code and I can paste this into Overpass Turbo. I hit run right up here and now it is searching and there are the results. And if I go to zoom to data, here we go. This is listing me everything in OpenStreetMaps that's listed as a natural equals spring. So obviously you could see there are a lot more than nine. And if I click on it and I click on this link, it will bring me to the page in OpenStreetMap and there it is, Deer Spring. So super helpful. And if I wanna get all of these, uh, these nodes or all of these results out, all I have to do is go to data right here and this is all of these, all the data listed as JSON, which is a standard um, language that, that programming languages use, standard format. But if I go to ChatGPT and I say, put this in a table in English, Here we go, it's giving me a table, and obviously you could do uh, whatever ChatGPT will allow you to with this data. You could probably export it uh, to spreadsheets or whatever you need to do. Here it all is in English. So really powerful feature. Another neat thing you can do is you go to the data here, export, and then export it to a GPX file. Then you can import them into a program like CalTopo, go here, and there they are, all of them are in there. Import, and now I have them all on a map that I can use, I can combine with hiking trails or whatever I wanna do. Uh, very handy and a very useful feature. And let me show you another example. Let's find uh, all of the mines, all the abandoned mines in Joshua Tree, right? If you wanna go explore some abandoned mines. So let's find the name of a mine first, Lost Horse Mine. So let's go here. Back to OpenStreetMap and search for Lost Horse Mine, Riverside County. There it is. This is listed as a way. I'm not sure why, because ways are usually paths, like a trail name or a road. Um, but the important part is here, land use equals quarry. So let's go back to ChatGPT and then lists all the nodes and ways where land use equals quarry, where land use equals quarry in Joshua Tree National Park. 
And it's great, right? It just spits this out for us. We copy it. You don't have to know anything about programming. Go back here. Let's go back to the map and go back here. And here's our query for Joshua Tree National Park quarry. And let's go run. Let's zoom to the results. And here we go. It's listing a bunch of different um, abandoned quarries or mines for us. So you can really search for what, like an example of what you're looking for in OpenStreetMap, and then create a query targeting that tag or that value for anything. And it can you can go a little bit more complicated too. I stumbled on this trying to find the hikeable high points in all the states. So for example, Alaska, Denali, you can't just hike up there. It's a mountaineering experience. So what's the next highest point that's like a named peak that has a official trail to the top? So did some searching of the queries and I figured out how I could do something like that. I did a little test for Texas. And you can see the query right here. This should give us uh, Guadalupe Peak and some other peaks that are above 2,500 meters. But you can see here, it's a little bit more complicated because I'm saying where I have a, uh, a footway that's not informal. So an official trail going by a, going within 100 meters of a peak that's over uh, 2,500 meters. Open street maps is all meters, just so you know. Let's go ahead and run this. Zoom to the results, and here we go. Bush Mountain, you can see there's a few of them, Guadalupe Peak, so it's telling us all of the peaks that have a trail within 100 meters. And here you can see if we go in, there's actually a trail to that peak. So pretty cool, you can slice and dice this to search the OpenStreetMap database however you need to. Uh, the chat GPT is not always correct. Sometimes the query will give you an error. All you have to do is take the error paste it back into ChatGPT and it will give you a new version of that. And sometimes the query will be really far off and you can ask ChatGPT to try a different way to find that information. You just have to play around with it, but the information is there. And I think this is very powerful for all of you map geeks or explorers or people who want to search open street maps, uh, you know, get to the data in an organized and targeted way. All right, guys, if you found any uh, tr tricks or hacks doing this, post them under here. I'm sure other people will find it beneficial and uh, maybe you'll see you out in the trails one day. All right, guys, later.